down. It's a little bright. Nine foot nine. Four, five, four, five, six, Twenty-three. Ooh. Twenty-three and five. It's tough. Just a couple things. Marquise becomes the quickest Wildcat to 200 career assists. Mm. That the second, first half really quick. Uh, tenth career double double for him. The fifth at K State. No one, of course, has done more than that. Uh, points, assists, uh, career high for David with 23 points. They, uh, far, far away, he's got mm. David, did it seem like you scored 16 points in that first half? I mean, it seemed like you were you were just draining them. Um, no, nah, not really, to be honest. I mean, I was just I just kept doing what coaches were telling me to do, and you know they were finding me every time for a like, easy layup. So, I mean, yeah. How does it feel to be able to contribute like this? I know that you had dreams about being able to do this mm -hmm. when you came here. Um, I mean, it feels great. Uh, feels great. I mean, it's the reason I, I transferred to like to be able to con contribute more and you know help my team win more games. So you know, I'm happy. Uh, I was able to contribute more for my team and you know get the win. There's been uh, all kinds of guys that have been scoring. Marquise, you found David several times tonight. Uh, what what is he like as a teammate and just his potential going forward? I mean, he's, a, he's, he's a competitor, he's fierce, um, he does all the little things to help his team win and that's why on, on nights like this he gets rewarded because you know he sets screens, he roll hard, um, he gets on the glass, so any opportunity that you know we have to get him the ball, we try to do that as much as possible. Marquise, what was it like playing against a guy you could actually post up? <laughs> oh, man. It was a great team win, that's it. <laughs> All right, Marquise, I want you to walk me through the uh, three-man alley-oop there <laughs> on the on the fast break. Um, we got the turnover, and I heard Keontae yelling, throw it up. So, you know, I just threw it off the glass. I didn't know three guys was going to, you know, go jump for it. But it kind of looked like the Hartman drill that we always work on before the game. So that was a cool little highlight. And then, David, for you, we talked to you a little bit. Um, earlier this month about starting to shoot the ball more. Mm -hmm. um, had a good look from three. Again, is that something that, uh, that's your, that you're continuously working on? Yes, for sure. I mean, I put in the work. I mean, like Coach said, just keep doing it. Your confidence going to you know, continue to go up, and you're going to see the results. So I'm just going to stay with doing what I'm doing, and you know, that's it. And then for you, Marquise, um, with Ish and Bebe, and not you guys are a little bit more shorthanded than you were earlier this season. Um, have have you guys changed anything with conditioning and how you handle yourself in in during the game? And has it have you noticed any difference at all? No, we haven't done anything differently, if we're being honest. But you know, we know that uh, guys are out, so we have to um, be mindful of like certain things like fouls and fouling um, if we don't if we don't have to. But you know, we got a lot of good guys on our team. So if one guy is out, you know, the next man is up, and they are really good. So we, the coaches have a lot of um, confidence in the players that's coming in, and also as players we do. So, yeah. Marquise, what was the biggest adjustment that you guys made defensively from the, the first half to the second half? Uh, we made them guys dribble, you know, in the, in the first half. Uh, probably the first media, they were shooting 60% from three. Um, and coach, you know, set a stat after the game that they only hit one three in 28 minutes. So we just made the made those guys put the ball on the floor, and that's where we saw success. So we kept with it. When you guys get down 14 on that first half, what is what is coach telling you guys to kind of keep kind of your, your your focus on 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 not panicking and then the, the the task at hand? Stay poised and um, you know just just lock in defensively. Because when we do, we are a really good team, and we showed that in the second half. So that's really the message. There's no secret to what we had to do. David, can you describe what the biggest difference is with your offensive role at Kansas State compared to what you did at Virginia Tech? Um, that's a good one. I mean, <laughs> I guess, like, it's more 
Like hopefully we play more like a five out, just like positionless kind of. Um, I mean, outside of that, I feel like it's really similar. But I mean, Keith finds me all the time, so the, my teammates are really making it easy for me. So I, mean, I think that's the biggest difference for me. Marquise, I know you've had quite a few double doubles this season. Is it the goal of yours to eventually get a triple double? That would be lovely. Um, but when you got guys like David, Keontae, still in your rebounds, it's pretty hard. <laughs> nah, but I just want to win at the end of the day. Uh, I don't care if I get a triple double, a double double. As long as that, that win co column is, you know, filled, I'm, I'm satisfied. <clears throat> David, previously when you spoke with us, you talked about the importance of confidence. You did there as well. But how important is it for you on the off of offensive end to just be active and cutting and not just be standing in one spot? Um, I mean, I think it's really important. I think me moving all the time helps the flow of the offense, um, open up, opens up like bubbles kind of for our team to attack. Um, I mean, like I said, just me standing in one spot the whole time, that means my defender can stay with me the whole time. And that's, you know, he's going to be able to help on my uh, teammates. So I guess like I just got to keep moving. And about the confidence, I mean, Coach Tang talks to me about it all the time. And my teammates, they, they're helping me with it as well. I mean, they're just telling me, keep my head up, next play every time. Like, even if I make a bad play, everybody's just really supportive. So that really helps for me. And then Marquise, can you just describe how important that kind of leadership is to getting someone like David to continue to go after maybe not contributing scoring-wise the way he wanted to earlier in the year? Um, it's, a, it's a team effort. I feel like um, I'm, a, I'm a leader, but these other guys are leaders um, in themselves. So whenever you see a guy mess up or make a mistake, you, we try to give him positive affirmation. And that's what really keeps us going. Um, if you d dwell on, you know, you know, bad things, bad things are going to continue to keep happening. So we try to keep a positive environment. And, you know, ever since then, good things have been happening. All right, David, I got to ask you, the Netherlands beat Team USA in the World Cup. A, are you a soccer fan? And B, um, just what's your opinion on uh, the, the uh, soccer fan. Definitely. I used to play all the time back home. Over here, I don't follow it as much no more as I used to. But, you know, since it was the Netherlands versus USA, I heard a lot of, you know, noise. Let's put it that way. Uh, from teammates, coaches, and, you know, a lot of people. So, you know, I was glad we was able to get the win. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, Mark 10 games, 11, 11, and 8. Oh. My memory. 